Welcome to Chad Hates Carbs. Today I want to do a little bit of a follow-up on the uh, carb quick thing. Uh, this is uh, a recipe that I just made and they did rise better this time. I went ahead and did the two-thirds um, cup of water and the two cups, the full uh, recipe. I went ahead and cut them instead of just making them drop biscuits and it does seem that they rise better a little bit when you do that. But then this one I did is kind of a control and even that one seemed to rise better. So it could be that I didn't mix them well enough the first time in the last video, but I wanted to just try it again and see what they did. Um, but you can see there's it does seem like they're probably a good 50% taller than they were before. Um, it's much more of that style of biscuit that I'm used to from a regular uh, biscuit uh, depth. So as far as being able to uh, get my you know butter in there and get it in between. You know, the slices got them, or they'll kind of melt a little bit. So anyway, I, I'm not exactly sure what it is. I think maybe mixing the mixing the dough better, or the batter, or whatever you call it, um, actually worked out better. Um, so it definitely seemed to, like I said, rise a little bit more. Um, I, I'm sure it won't have any impact on the flavor or anything, but uh, I also wasn't constantly having to um, uh, add water and add more uh, dough. So I just, I think perhaps that was, that was on me. So I'm going to go ahead and give me some sugar-free peach. I'll try this out. Yeah. I would say that it's definitely better. So I don't, I'm not exactly sure what happened last time. because it's the same batch of carb quick, so. Hmm. Anyway, the proof is in the pudding. I mean, that's significantly more rise than last time, so. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this update. Uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.